from MOSAC has a new Harvest Time exhibit that we're going to check out. Natalie, our friends who are familiar with the MOSAC, what is it exactly? So MOSAC, the Museum of Science and Curiosity, it is Sacramento's newest science center. And we really hope that we end up being a hub to engage and inspire people of all ages to explore the many parts of science, the wonders, the possibilities, and the responsibilities. It's such a cool place. And what are the type of exhibits people can experience here? We have over 100 exhibits in multiple galleries. You can explore Sacramento's wildlife and ecosystems with your five senses and nature's detectives. And then upstairs, we've got some special places. We have the Design Challenge Zone, where you can actively participate in engineering and design process with different challenges. And then finally, it wraps up with Destination Space, where we can explore the Mars and lunar landings, the rovers, everything in our solar system and beyond. Okay, so really something for literally everyone. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And you have a new exhibit here that we're standing in. What exhibit is this exactly? So we do. We are standing right inside of Harvest Time. And Harvest Time is all about California agriculture, food, nutrition. We also have this beautiful bright red tractor right behind us. <laughs> okay, can you tell me about this bright red tractor? Yeah, so this bright red tractor is on from the California Agricultural Museum and Event Center, and it is quite vintage. I believe it's 1949. It's pretty neat. <laughs> That's awesome. And why is it important that you think people should come and learn about how we harvest California agriculture? Yeah, so there are so many reasons. Probably number one that most people are familiar with is that California is one of the most productive and varied agricultural regions around the world. And Hand in hand with that, we also have to be at the forefront of sustainability and innovation, especially with our changing climate here in California. Yeah, so important. And I mean, I'm seeing a lot of facts here. What's one of the most interesting facts you've learned about? My favorite fact relates to pollination. I know a lot of people are thinking of honeybees, but we have a different perspective on pollination in this fact. So if anyone at home that you have watching this program, if they're bakers, if they have vanilla extract in their cupboard, well, vanilla comes from an orchid that is native to Central America, and it has native pollinators in Central America. However, about 80% of commercially produced vanilla is from Madagascar, and it has to be pollinated by hand. Orchid by orchid by orchid. Oh my gosh, okay, that is an interesting fact. I do have to ask you, we were talking a little earlier, you mentioned some wine and what we might be known for. Can yes. you tell about that? So Sacramento County's number one agricultural product is wine grapes, valued at $156 million from the most recent report. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long will the Harvest Time exhibit be here for? So it, this is a seasonal program, so we have it through December 4th. So if folks haven't come and seen it yet, time is ticking. So make sure you get here before December 4th. You gotta check it out. And what do you hope people get out of coming to this exhibit? I think it really comes down to questions. You come to a museum with questions and with curiosity, and we really hope that you leave with more questions and more curiosity that you can then pursue on your own time and asking people around you. That is the whole point of science. And where can our viewers go for more information? The best place to find more information, especially about Harvest Time, is our social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, that's where we've got our updates. Perfect.